if you live in Colorado and you contract hepatitis C, all right, poor people and also prisoners in Colorado are being refused any treatment for hepatitis C. And most of the hepatitis C comes from drug use and sharing needles. Well, there's a big thing going on in Colorado uh, among the prison population where people come in there. Now with hepatitis C, they are being refused any type of treatment. Colorado was also called out in 2016 for not treating people with hepatitis C that were poor and on Medicaid. So right now the ACLU is suing. They have a class action lawsuit against the state of Colorado um, because they have 2,280 prisoners right now that are diagnosed with the virus and fewer than 70 percent per year are even receiving any type of um any type of treatment but right now they're not treating anybody they're not treating anyone and that's the problem so on this past wednesday they started a class action lawsuit now many of these people coming in are your heroin addicts okay that are all already walking in to prison with the disease because remember when i told you heroin addicts and these opioid addicts they are the most expensive to house in prison because not only are they walking in there with a drug addiction nine times out of ten they have other serious issues going on like hiv hepatitis C, tuberculosis, they're walking in with a whole host of other problems. So in order for them to be treated, it says the average person walking in there now with a heroin addiction plus other um, infectious diseases coming into prison, it costs 75,000 or more per year to house that person in jail where it, usually is for somebody that don't walk into prison with all of those issues, about 50,000 per year. So it's a huge problem. But now you have Colorado that's saying, you know what, if they come in here with any issues as far as hepatitis C, um, it's an expensive treatment, we're not giving the treatment. So they're essentially are gonna let these people just die from their disease. Now, remember, heroin addicts in jail are there because more than likely they're robbing to keep their drug addiction up. And of the places that they hit the most are banks, pharmacies, and even people's homes in their neighborhood, looking for anything where they can either get money or any type of expensive objects where they can go to a pawn shop or sell on the streets. That's what most of your addicts do. And many of them are now out here panhandling. You know, I'm seeing and hearing a lot of people taking notice to the fact that many white junkies have now taken to the streets and they're out here panhandling. All right. So, now we we got this situation and believe me colorado is not going to be the last place that refuse to do any drug treatment all right so now for them to give treatment for a 12-week period for hepatitis c it can run anywhere from 30 to forty thousand dollars for a 12 week um treatment through your medicaid um you know once that liver damage is done and they're not treating these people it's really a death sentence what they're doing it really is 
So I don't know if they're going to win the, you know, this class action suit. And you know how how long many of these um, class action suits actually take. So, you know, if the class action suit run for a few years, you're going to have a lot of people dying. You know, in between that time. So lawsuits right now are against prison systems in this country in several states. And it's not just Colorado, but it's Florida and Missouri that's also refusing to treat these prisoners that are walking in with hepatitis C or even develop it while they're there in prison. So... All right, so that's just another story. So I will leave the link to this story in the description box. Um, but please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, please do. Peace, family.